The British royal family is known for always appearing proper in public. There are many rules of etiquette that they follow to keep their pristine public image, but they're still only human. Let's take a look at some of their most embarrassing moments. We all know that uncomfortable feeling when you aren't quite sure how to greet someone, and that's exactly what happened to Harry when he, Meghan Markle, and Markle's mother, Doria Ragland, attended the launch of a cookbook written by Grenfell Tower survivors. After his mother-in-law had kissed a volunteer on both cheeks, Harry stepped forward to do the same. However, the volunteer seemed surprised to have the prince approaching her, and took a step back, causing an awkward second where neither of them knew what to do. Fortunately, Harry smoothed things over fairly quickly with some air kisses before moving on. Kate Middleton is known for her exquisite style, but that doesn't mean she hasn't had her share of wardrobe mishaps. One of those embarrassing royal moments happened when she and her husband, Prince William, visited a National War Memorial in Delhi. While the two of them laid down a wreath to honor the dead, the wind began blowing Middleton's dress up. The Duchess was reminiscent of the famous Marilyn Monroe photo, with the white dress blowing up around her. But a war memorial was hardly the time for a homage to old Hollywood. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle attended their first public event after their wedding in May 2018. According to BBC News, the newlyweds made their debut at a garden party to honor Prince Charles, Harry's father, for his charity work and military affiliations. Though picturesque, the garden location attracted some uninvited guests, and while Harry was giving a speech for his father, he was interrupted by a bee. At first, the prince tried to ignore it, and then he gently swatted the bug away. Harry simply made a joke out of it all with his usual charm, saying, that be really got me. <laughs> As head of state, Queen Elizabeth is often tasked with greeting foreign dignitaries and political leaders. Sometimes things get tense when those visitors don't know what's expected of them while interacting with her. During President Donald Trump's 2018 visit, he seemed unsure of what to do when the Queen brought him to inspect the Royal Guard. The president first walked in front of the Queen, then he stopped abruptly, so she had to walk around him to direct him where to go next. The interaction was awkward to watch, and some people also found it disrespectful. However, if the queen saw this as a snub, she didn't show it. After the initial bumbling, she calmly directed President Trump where they needed to go to finish their public appearance. Along with the many foreign dignitaries the queen interacts with, she's also met many, many celebrities. With all the handshaking and greeting she does, she's bound to forget a few names. So maybe it shouldn't have surprised anyone when Queen Elizabeth II didn't recognize Madonna. The pop icon met the Queen at the premiere of the James Bond movie, Die Another Day, for which Madonna had not only sung the title track, but also appeared briefly as a fencing instructor. Understandably, the singer appears quite nervous as the two shake hands. The Queen then turns to her aide to ask who Madonna is. After being informed that Madonna had sung the title track for the film, Queen Elizabeth still didn't recognize her. Far from offended, Madonna found it all funny, especially after the Queen failed to recognize other cast members like John Cleese and Rick Yoon, and could barely hold in giggles. While attending a church service with his brother, Prince Harry, and sister-in-law, Meghan Markle, a camera caught Prince William fighting hard to stay awake. In the video, you can see William's eyes fluttering shut as he does his best not to doze off. The Duke of Cambridge made this public appearance in April 2018, just a few days after he and Kate welcomed their third baby into the world. While his wife was presumably at home with a new baby, William still went to the church service. It's no wonder he was feeling a bit run down. Prince William received public backlash after a video of him making light of the coronavirus surfaced. The footage was taken in early March 2020 during a reception at Guinness Storehouse. William was talking to a paramedic of the National Ambulance Service when he said, Coincidentally enough, his father, Prince Charles, contracted the virus later that same month. Then William himself caught COVID-19 in April. Fortunately, both members of the royal family recovered from the virus. In 2019, when Meghan Markle and Prince Harry were expecting their first baby, Markle had a funny interaction on one of her royal outings. The Duchess, who was known for her love of dogs, was visiting an animal charity in London. At the time, Markle's baby bump was quite noticeable. During a conversation, a woman says to her, Despite this seeming like an insensitive comment, Twitter users pointed out that among African and Caribbean people, the term is often used as more of a compliment. With that context in mind, it's a good thing Markle didn't take it as an insult. With the portrayal of Princess Diana and Prince Charles' rocky relationship on the Netflix original The Crown, interest and speculation have been rekindled about their marriage. One of the most notable moments in the television series was when a reporter asked the couple if they were in love. Diana confirms that they are, while Charles responds uncomfortably, Whatever in love means. The scene may seem like something added for drama, but the same interview happened in real life. You can still watch the embarrassing royal moment when Charles said his infamous line. 
Instead of in love, me. <laughs> The royal family may be known for looking prim and proper at all times, but on the day of Princess Eugenie's wedding, many looked more windswept than elegant. Princess Eugenie married Jack Brooksbank on October 12, 2018, and the couple had a bit of bad luck since it just happened to be a particularly blustery day. As a result, many of the esteemed guests got caught up in gusts of wind on their way to the chapel. Ida Field's mother, Gwen, even lost her hat at one point. Fortunately, someone walking behind returned it to her before it got too far. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about the royal family are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.